guys, thank you for tuning in to Fish Long Island. In this next video, I am going to take you through the steps on how I personally like to rig a green crab. There are a thousand ways you could rig it, but this is the way I like to rig it. I like to have my hooks exposed where I go through on the crab and where I exit on the crab for the hooks. I'm going to be doing this with jigs, single hooks, and also the snafu rig I'm going to be using. So guys, check it out, let me know what you think, and let's get to the video. All right, so in this next part, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover because I had a problem with microphone. So as you can see here, I'm talking about the jigs and what I like. These are one of the jigs that I would prefer. As you can see, it has a long shank, uh, more room for the crab to sit on, and uh, these are definitely one of the, the go-to jigs I like. And I'm showing you again, that you can see where the, the actual shank is compared to the hook. Now this jig I'm showing you is one I actually don't like. This, you can see, there's not much hook exposed. There's still a lot of lead collar. And uh, if I was to do this jig, I would actually cut that piece of collar off right now where you can see my fingers are and uh, remove that and have more hook exposed. Later on in your video, you'll see how a crab sits on that jig. Again, <clears throat> this I believe is Dante's jigs. And you can see there's a lot more hook exposed and it's better to, to place the crab. Again, this is a, probably a no-name jig. I would cut those two prongs off to make the crab sit on better. But you can see there's a lot more hook exposed. This is a good inshore jig for shallow water works really well. Of course, there's the famous tidal tails, great jigs. Again, you can see the collar of the lead, but still it's a very good jig. And I love the design of this head actually. <clears throat> they work very well. This right here is a hooked up jigs, company's based out of Florida. I would take that little piece of lead right there where my thumb is and shave that off to have, again, more hook exposed. These jigs actually work really well. And I've caught some very big blackfish on these jigs too. Again, one more time, just showing the jig with the exposed hook so you can see that all right so now we're going to take our crabs i cut these prior because i don't want all the tree huggers to get upset with me cutting the crabs so now you can see this one is cut in half with legs on and i'll show you how to put the jig and where i put it on within the crabs this is one again a chunk same crab but this one's without the legs and as you can see, I'm showing you here, I love to keep the shells on because there's a lot of gook and, and junk and stuff that the blackfish love. And I'll uh, basically put that on with the heads on and I'll crack it sometimes a little just to get some of that shell flowing when it hits the bottom and making like a natural uh, chum slick. I'm showing you where I would put the hook and that's like the orange parts, which is the joint of the legs on this crab. So I'm going to take the jig and place it right through that piece of orange there, which is the soft part, a joint where the legs connect to the body. So the hook goes in, we spin it around, and we're going to come out another joint of the crab. And there it goes, right out. Now watch how this crab sits. You can see how perfectly streamlined that is. It's going to sit better, especially if there's current. It's also not going to move as much. It's going to sit a little better on the bottom with that longer shank. So that's that bait right there, so you can see that. I'm crushing it, like I said, and now we'll get, make, make a natural chum slick, basically, on the bottom. You can see I squished it, some of the oranges hanging out. As you shake that a little, parts of the shell will start fluttering off. It works really well. I mean, some people say you don't have to crush it because the crab's already cut in half. I still like to crush it just a little bit, just enough to get some of those particles to start flowing and get that scent out a little faster, I guess. All right, moving on to the next. <clears throat> I showed you how that worked. Now we're going with the legs. Again, it's the exact same concept. You look for the orange. And you can see the joints. There's a soft piece of flesh in there, and that's what we're going to put the hooks through. If you put it through the joint itself, then it's actually the hard shell. Sometimes you have to slide that off afterwards. But here we go. This is the light bay jig going right in to the soft part. Popping it through and out through another joint. Even if you come out the side of the legs, right underneath it, it's still fine. And you can see that right there. Again, look how that crab is sitting. It's basically perfect on that, on that jig. All right. Again, sorry about having to do a voiceover. My microphone somehow shut down on me when I was doing this video. Now I'm using the jig that I don't like, and you can see the difference of how it goes in. We're going right through the exact same spot, sliding around, and boom, that piece of lead stops it from sliding all the way. Now, listen, this is going to work. Don't get me wrong. There's no problem with it. You will definitely catch fish on it, but I personally like the crab sitting a little better. You know, now you got that bulky crabs and upwards the current's going to pull it a little more it's not streamlined 
But uh, it's going to work. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not going to work. It just, again, this is my preference. What I like, I like the jig that's the upper part versus the one that's the purple jig that you can see here. And again, I'm showing you how it's like an L shape where the other one is just one straight line and it's more streamlined. All right, I'm going to move on to the next in a little bit. I'm not used to doing these voiceover things, but it is what it is. Okay, now we're going to go on to the single hook rig. This is a Gamagatsu. I believe this was a 3.0 or a 4.0. I don't remember, actually. And uh, we're going to show you how to do a hook with a single hook. And, of course, this would be to the weight, a traditional just blackfish rig. All right. Again, same thing. This is the crab with the legs going into the joint. Pop it through. And you'll feel it's a lot soft. There'll be no resistance. And then popping it right out. And there you go. Now you can see that hook is fully exposed. When that fish grabs a hold of it, you're going to swing up hard, crank down on the reel, and you'll get them. And you can see that hook is going to go in. It's fully exposed. There's nothing blocking that. No shell. Nothing. Full hook exposure. And again, crush those shells a little bit. This crab I've been using for the demonstration on this whole video, so you can see it's getting a little beat up by taking hooks in and out of it. All right. So now we're going to do the snafu rig, which the snafu rig we're using a whole crab, or you can use two chunks, one chunk on each hook. But this one I'll show you the whole crab. Okay, we have Uncle Mo's tackle here. A friend of mine gave me some rigs to try out. They worked very well. Store-bought, semi-custom rigs for you. Uh, you can check him out, Uncle Mo's Tackle. He ships them right to your house. And they worked really good, actually. I had a charter out the other day. A bunch of guys were out fishing for fun. And uh, we used those rigs, and the guys caught a lot of fish. I can actually probably put a picture in here so you can see it. But it was a lot of fun. The guys had a great time, and the rigs did work very, very well. Okay, so now we pulled the rig out of the package. Again, there's two hooks on here, so be extremely careful. You definitely don't want to get the uh, hooks in your hand or anything like that. So be very, very careful with that. Okay, so with this rig, there's your two hooks I'm showing you. With this rig, you're basically going to go on either side of the crab, and again, the same thing. You're going to go in through a joint and out through another joint. And I'm just talking about the hooks here. And those are those look like 3.0 Gamagatsus in his package. I believe he labels everything in his package, so you can see exactly what you bought with the uh, hooks. So here we go. Now we're going to start placing the crab onto the hooks and there you go in one out that hook is set ready to go and then we flip it around to the next without tangling anything and pop it through and you do that like you say the same on both sides and you're gonna get the hooks exposed now what I would do is I would take the sinker and I would basically uh, start crashing uh, crushing the top of the shell a little bit and that's basically what I'm showing you now I would take a sinker pop it a couple times open up that shell and let some of the uh the guts and stuff ooze out and some scent that other loop that you can see that right there is where your sinker is going to go and that's how your rig is going to look with the snafu rig and the swivel you can see on the bottom that will be connected to your leader or your braid on the fishing rod and that's basically a snafu rig again i'm demonstrating crush it a little to get that scent out i never really put the crabs down hole without any damage i like to always somehow get them open and again, you cut that in half, and you'd have two chunks, and it would work just as well. You could do that as, the same way. Just basically two chunks going down. And a lot of times you will get double headers, too. And that's the snafu rig. All right, guys, so that's basically it. That's how I like to rig my green crabs. There's a million ways to rig it, but that's the way I like to rig it. I like everything streamlined, and I feel that works a lot better. And also those hooks are exposed uh, a lot better doing it that way. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I had to do a voiceover. Something happened with my microphone, and it wasn't recording the whole time. But uh, if you like this type of content, please help me out. Subscribe to my channel. Leave comments, questions. I'll answer through the comments. I answer right away. And uh, thank you again for watching. Until then, have a great day, and get out there and go fishing.